Hello, Marine Noodles with your story here in San Francisco at AdTech with VJ from Flipora. What's your story? All right, so I'm from the city called Chennai in India. I got my undergraduate degree at IIT at Bombay in India and uh, I came to Stanford to get my master's. That is where I met my friend and business partner, Jonathan, and um, eventually started the, this company, Flipora, uh, that we have been running ever since. Now, you're up to 30 million plus users a month. You raised two rounds of capital. Um, you still haven't actually, you're not doing a lot of monetization. How are you, uh, what's, the, what's the future for the business and what would be some tips you can pass on for other people to get there? All right. We have, uh, I mean, unlike uh, other businesses in the Silicon Valley, we have indeed focused on monetization in the last uh, couple of years. Okay. And uh, even though we still uh, think we are scraping the tip of the iceberg, we uh, recently turned profitable. So we have been profitable for the last few months and we have been uh, continuing to grow revenues after that. Uh, as for tips, well, we've, um, I mean, we, we, we've tried to make uh, every dollar count. We have tried to uh, ensure we are uh, careful with uh, every single hire, uh, try to m make sure we get the best possible people. Uh, we um, we uh, uh, sort of test uh, uh, all hypotheses as uh, cheaply as possible. Um, um, in fact, uh, 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 even before we built uh, many aspects of our product, we would uh, build the initial flow um, to, to see how many people would uh, actually go through it and, and measure if there are enough people and we would have something at the end that says, all right, uh, thanks for your interest, we'll email you back and uh, then we would go on uh, to actually build it over the next month or two. So we, we've done a lot of such things and we, uh, yeah, so generally, yes, I mean, the, the the short story is, of course, that we, we try to uh, um, maximize the use of our resources, test a lot of things cheaply, uh, eliminate the ones that do not work. And what's been your experience coming from India and setting up a business here? Is it about your contacts here? Is there a good uh, community in the Bay? What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Well, the Silicon Valley is uh, most certainly the absolute uh, best place in the world to start a technology business. There's no uh, two ways about that. I, I mean, uh, there's, uh, there's a mammoth difference between the Silicon Valley and most other places in the US I've yeah. been to as well. Um, yes, I mean, as an immigrant entrepreneur, there have certainly been a, a few immigration related hurdles that we have had to jump over. Um, but uh, well, uh, there are uh, some extra hurdles, but nevertheless, uh, things that can be overcome. We have certainly found that, yes, from the standpoint of uh, building contacts, getting people to uh, get really valuable advice from, um, I mean, there are a lot of people that spew very uh, general business advice yeah. that perhaps does not help you very much. But uh, in the Valley, it's great to meet a lot of uh, people that have uh, been there and done that with a lot of, uh, faced a lot of the relevant issues. Um, and um, we have benefited enormously. What's one thing that you wish you'd known at the start of all of this? Is there one uh, piece of advice you're like, oh, I wish I'd known that? It's uh, difficult to say, uh, really. I mean, I I don't know that uh, we would have uh, done a, a lot of things uh, uh, very differently yes maybe one thing i would uh, i would say is that uh, the my co-founder and i uh, are from a technology background we are not uh, fundamentally business guys yeah. so uh, definitely uh, your uh, your pitching skills and uh, uh, your ability to uh, i mean uh, go, going out there um, actually ab testing on venture capitalists rather yeah. than rather than users to see what works uh, is a is an excellent idea we would have uh, in hindsight we should have uh, probably done more of that in the beginning found someone who is just great at that what is that? I found someone who is just great at uh, at pitching. Basically, is part of the I team. mean, either find someone or, or you grow into that person. I mean, I'm yeah. I'm, I'm less certain of, of uh, just picking uh, the, uh, what uh, what are called the suits. I mean, okay. the, the the people that are only good at that and uh, nothing else. I'm less of a fan of uh, sort of having such people in uh, running the business. But this is uh, yes, you you certainly need someone to do that. It's either got to be you that grows into that role, or yes, you got to find someone. And are you going to be raising more capital? Uh, yes, we we plan to raise a large round of investment uh, uh, later this uh, year. So we we've, we've raised four million uh, so far uh, in uh, cap venture capital, and we are already profitable. But uh, yes, we think uh, more uh, venture capital will uh, give us the ammunition to really become the enormous uh, billion dollar company that we aspire to become. Now, uh, I know a lot of uh, CEOs that start up, they, they become profitable and then they raise more money. But from, from, a very, from a very outside perspective, people would say, well, hold on a minute, you're profitable. Why do you need to do that? 
So was, were you saying you're doing that so you can accelerate growth, basically? Yes, that is correct. And uh, there's also one, um, one more thing to it. I mean, uh, it may sound uh, cliched, but there's certainly some truth to the saying that the best time uh, to raise uh, venture capital is when you don't need it. Yeah. And, and there is a lot of truth to it. I mean, there is uh, no doubt at all uh, that, um, um, like, in, initially in the, in the first two or three years of our business, we have uh, certainly had to uh, do venture capital the, the traditional way. We have not actually had uh, unsolicited uh, investment offers coming our way. And we have, I, trust me, we have had a lot of that coming the last uh, two years. So, uh, I mean, that is certainly a better place to be. I mean, you, you get to uh, raise a l large capital potentially. You get to have uh, more options with the kinds of uh, people that you take investment with and that... Uh, uh, this thing uh, that you have on your board of directors. I mean, you you might have already heard uh, horror stories of some uh, rare, of some rare but uh, cases that regardless happen of uh, of the wrong kind of board members basically even uh, destroying a company. Yeah. Uh, but on the other hand, yes, being careful and picking the right kind of guys uh, can help you uh, um, go far in your journey. Fantastic. If you want to find out more information and connect with you, what's your Twitter address? My Twitter address is uh, Krishnan uh, Vijay. Uh, Krishnan is my last name, Vijay is my first name. You can also email us at uh, support at flippora.com and uh, my co-founder and I always uh, monitor that as well. A lot of emails coming to you. I mean, we don't answer everyone, uh, but uh, the, the ones that are a little more targeted uh, at us, uh, we handle that, but the more uh, routine questions are handled by our uh, support uh, person. Fantastic, thank you very much. Murray News with your story. I'll see you next time.